Question is, can you finish a triangle without crossing the arm? Nelson had a thought on this. <laughs> is the guy inside the triangle, he's so weak. <laughs> is, is this How guy... much do you respect them? <laughs> so it depends what's happening, why this arm isn't across. Mm -hmm. If it's like this, maybe we can finish it. What he's gaining by doing this is maybe uh, my angle could be hard to fix. Yeah, so go ahead and do the hugging again. Because with a good triangle, I just want to get the neck and not very much of the shoulder. So if I have long enough legs, maybe, you know, like I, you can see here how much isn't the neck and how there's still maybe a gap here, like uh, make that space get strong. Yeah, there you go. If there's a gap here, then I'm just squeezing half the neck. So you can finish triangles from here if you're able to get that together. So maybe I've got strong enough legs and I can get a good enough angle and I just take my time. Maybe I can find it. It's a lot more work. He turned a little pink, purple. It was working. But sometimes what they're doing is they hug here and they drive in and they put their head on this side and they're like, you're like, now what's really doing it is the angle is wrong. So the arm being in, I could finish it when I was at the good angle. Now I can hardly close my feet. So I'm going to probably switch to something like an omoplata there. If the arm is just like um, here, it's, you know, maybe it's holding on my belt or something like that, then there's still a chance I could cross it. So he, again, he's building, he's making it so my hip can't turn very easily and he's getting uh, some space here in the neck. So if I can do things to get this across, then we succeed with the crossing. There are alternative things too, like especially, like go back to the hugging one. You can flip the direction of your legs. So if I can't lock up the normal way, I go kind of like I'm going to do a plata and then relock here. And then for the finish, I'm going to try to get around my knees and then squeeze here. It's a lot of squeeze. It's a, you'll burn your thighs out if they're not tapping. But uh, just doing this isn't enough. You have to uh, go around your knees, finger to finger, and then I'm squeezing my legs together. You could almost do this like leg scissor style, but I don't think it would really work there. Here we go. Look at, you look like you got cold all of a sudden. Yeah, I know it's dry. <laughs> so one of the things too is like now, it's getting more popular, is just changing the angle. So I don't have to always lock a triangle with my knee on top. So now we've seen a lot more people when they get into these situations, they're gonna control the head and they might drop their knee through. So now I have this extra room to get the angle and close the triangle. So like my knee is below mat. I keep it my, I get his head down and now I get, the, I get the tap by dropping my knee below Matt's shoulder. So that's like the new technology. You see in a lot of like this style come through a lot more. So instead of like being here and only locking here versus here is where's my knee positioning in relationship to Matt's shoulders. So if the knee is above, it's gonna be hard to close the triangle from this spot. But if I underhook either Matt's shoulder or Matt's leg to keep him in place, get my, get my knee a little bit deeper. So my knee is below Matt's shoulder. Now nah, I can squeeze and put the triangle in place. Mm -hmm. A bunch of options for you, so go give him a shot.